After a week of waiting, here's to day one, iPhone day, the day every consumer, including myself, receive our iPhone 15. Like the 15's carrying over most of its predecessor's DNA, there's a few things I'm interested in. For the most part, those being USB-C, performance slash battery, ProRes log, five times optical zoom, the new titanium build, and the action button. Now coming over from an iPhone 14 Pro, there's less to be excited about here. However, despite that being the case, immediately what caught my attention was just how light this device is. Take that how you will, there's a projecting premium look and feel to this device. And while you could argue that it's time for change, the more rounded edges, the glass curving slightly over, give this device a much more comfortable feel. In regards to change, the addition of the new action button allow for a customizable action. Whether that be shortcuts, app launches, muting, unmuting, I find this to be a great addition to the iPhone. Undoubtedly where the 15 Pros take it a step further is with its USB-C. Besides the convenience of perhaps a now universal charging cable across all your devices, it offers faster transfer speeds, 10 gigabits per second, and the ability to shoot ProRes log up to 60 FPS via an external SSD. These being Pro models, ProRes log might not be intended for the average consumer. However, having the ability to shoot in these modes add an overall much better value to these devices. Furthermore, this being my first day with the device, it's still, I'm still in this experimental phase. Performance has been up to par, it's fast, smooth, Apple's A17 Pro doesn't seem to shy away. In conjunction, battery also looks to be better, but again, that's something only time will tell. Once more, and this time specifically with the 14 Pro Max, the addition of a 120 millimeter focal length, a five times optical zoom, in other words, sharper, crisper images, video at a zoomed range. Again, all this coming together to give us, you, the user, more flexibility, more options. And well, again, only testing and really putting these devices, these tools to the test, will we be able to determine how good they really are. Finally, I'm also currently using the Fold 5 as a main secondary device, so expect content on both of these devices. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. And here's to day one.